Uh, so, I built a very programmer art uh, battle system where the menu system pops up uh, when you click on a character and you can tell the character to do stuff. Now, the reason I did this is actually because I wanted to um, I wanted to learn Unity best practices. I know there are a couple of menuing systems uh, and turn-based RPG systems in the store already. None of them really caught my eye, and I have to learn best practices anyway. So I did this, and that's a delegate-based ba menu system. It's a very straightforward system. What I've also the big issue here is that you have to make this sort of system very, very uh, data-driven, and there's no there's no tutorials in Unity, as far as I can tell, about how to make a system data-driven. Uh, so what I ended up doing was creating a kind of script called a combat tech script. And I can just add an arbitrary number of them to any given object, hero object in this case. And uh, uh, when I build the menus, the option menus, it, it scans through all of the attached scripts, parses them out. Um, for example, if you decide you're going to do continuous effects, it looks only for things that have been marked continuous. Otherwise, it looks for things that haven't been marked continuous. This is, um, I don't know if this is the best way to do it. It does allow me to edit it right here in the browser. Uh, there are a couple of other options. Uh, for example, I could make my own editor widget, um, and then I would be able to make combat entity have, say, a techniques variable, which I would then be able to edit in another window that has some weird options. But that seemed like a lot of effort to go through for a simple demo prototype type thing. So this seemed like a decent basic workaround, um, and I don't have any problems with doing it this way, so I figured that's what I'd do. Uh, I know that there are some tutorials on how to create turn-based um, combat in Unity. They all use the yield command. The yield command is interesting because using it in C-sharp is a total pain in the ass. Uh, it doesn't work right. Uh, rather, it, it probably does work right, and it works wrong in JavaScript, but the wrong way is, is actually useful and easy to do, whereas the right way, I still haven't figured out how to do it yet. So I either I'm going to be creating the turn system in JavaScript, making, meaning I'll have a mixed C-sharp and JavaScript system, or I'll be using some kind of kludge that doesn't use yield. Um, I haven't really decided. But anyhow, that's uh, that's a sort of... Uh, thinking that you have to do when you're trying to develop something other than a real-time game in Unity. Something more data-driven and turn-based.